know, I know all fans want to win, and like I say, it's nothing better than being able to do it at home. And um, hope, like I said, because get a good start of trying to turn this season around. I see a team like New England, like they seem to kind of mirror you guys a little bit. Had some tough losses, but always play hard. You would expect them to come in and play hard on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I don't expect nothing less than you know them coming in here. Nothing more, I guess I would say. Same, but um, at the end of the day, I mean, we all fighting for a win, and. Um, like I, said, I, I think we want to win. Or live, or I want to win. I'm speaking for myself right now. Um, and I don't know what they got going on over there, but you know, I want to win. Um, I think it's time for it to actually get a win, but most importantly, take care of our home turf. Like I said, we haven't done that so far this year. It's time to get a win at home. So you know, I'm excited to be back at home, and hopefully we get a win as we can. All you guys are. What's what's the belief? system like for, for Coach Cali? I mean, it, it's still, like, when he first came in, you know, what he believed in and, you know, our expectations for this team, you know, our record shows one and six, but that's not who we are. Um, I mean, it's who we are because that's the record. But at the end of the day, you know, especially the work we put in the camp, the, the type of offense I've seen, is the stuff we've seen in, on defense and special teams during camp, you know, we didn't expect to be uh, here at, at one and six. And um, the belief is it's been just handling the little things, the detail, being disciplined, especially on defense. And when it come down to special teams, everyone doing their job and playing, uh, you know, tip-top effort um, at the end of the day. So, you know, I think the belief is still there. Well, I would say I know the belief is still there. Um, but his message is still the same. We just got to find a way to get one. You know, everything else, as we know, you know, the wins start to stack and we could turn the season around. I think you kind of mentioned it, but it's like some of those things that you are improving on as a team may be overshadowed by those bigger mistakes. Yeah. Do you feel like, though, with the different mistakes that they are correctable at some point? Yeah, they, they most definitely are correctable. I mean, especially when we look at defense, um, you know, and I try to, like I said, I try to mow my own grass. And uh, when we come into the defensive meeting and, you know, Denard put up the plays that, you know, it's the small things, and I talked to you guys about it last week. The reason why I have been getting us beat is a small thing, as in eyes, discipline, and stuff in that nature. So at the end of the day, um, it's visible, but you know, um, you know, when we are playing good football, even it don't matter because we're not in position to be able to keep discipline at good football because of we are behind or it's, it's uh, someone. I would say every other player is a different person, so. We just have to keep eliminating bad football and because as we see, a lot of bad football in this league to get you beat and have you seen that one and six. You aware of this element of the fan base that obsesses over the draft, talks about tanking and worries about your draft pick, and how little do you care about where this team drafts in April? Not that I don't care, you know. I mean, guys in the draft help us, but I'm not thinking about it. I'm thinking about getting a win. That stuff right there don't matter. Um, that's outside noise for us, I would say. I mean, our focus should be on New England Patriots because that's the next team on our um, schedule, and we've got to figure out how to beat New England Patriots, not try to see who we're going to draft um, in the upcoming draft. Was definitely after that first one, I was like, all right, I'm ready. You know, I'm playing, you know. But it, it was just a, it was a good game called, you know, in the beginning by us. I thought we were flowing pretty good. I think the game got a little away from us, and then it just got a little weird after that. That Those first one you caught, there, you could tell that you – it did seem like it was a confidence booster. There's something that could be said to, you know, how getting those early touches really gets you not checked in, but like in the flow. Yeah, I was already checked in at the beginning of the game and, the, you know, just the preparation. I think my prep all week had, you know, I knew the game was going to be you. good. That's what I'm saying, yeah. If but you go only practice two days, you only practice one day, right? Oh, no, nah, I, I mean, that doesn't mean I probably beat everybody here every morning that week, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't mean just because I wasn't out there, I wasn't. Sure. So, so what was the yeah. preparation, even though you weren't on the, on the um, field? What were you? I just did the things, you know, obviously I wasn't on the field, but I did still work. I worked every moment I was here throughout the day. I just did it less off my feet. Mm -hmm. If, if the, Ryan said if you the, were on, uh, the on the jugs machine, yeah, I just, day, you know. I did wide receiver things, and then it helped in the game, I think. You used the you tennis go, ball machine, too? Yeah, tennis like balls. That? Yeah, I like it. You know, I just worked. I just worked, and then it, it showed up. If the move is to go back to Will at quarterback this week, you confident that the rapport between you guys will be there? I don't have nothing to do with that. I'm, I'm going to be there 
whatever they want, you know, Cali and everybody wants, uh, I'm willing to do. Is it a little bit of a relief to have a game like that after, you know? Uh, nah, because I should have all the games like that. And then um, we're not that good right now, so it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I didn't really do anything to help. I didn't, you know, I didn't do that much to help. Do you think you should have scored on the deep ball? Were you trying to cut back and make a miss? Is that, is that kind of what was going through your mind on that one? Yeah. When I look at it on the film, I mean, my mind was thinking completely different than what it looked like. I looked at it and I was like, I was like, wow, okay. But I didn't think, uh, I thought he was a lot closer than where he was. But when I looked, it was right in his face. We looked eye to eye and I was like, oh, all right. But then I was, I should have just, I'll be better in that. I would be better so in that moment. So in hindsight, you should have just kept going? I should have just kept going, trusting my speed. Is it oversimplifying it to say if you guys scored 21 points this week, you should be in a good spot? Like, what do you mean? If you guys can put 21 points in the board, which has been a challenge for us, but you should be in a good position to win? I have no idea. I mean, we got to score, score, however the game is going. I'll score the other team. I mean, last week, I mean, we were good, and they, if they score on special teams, we still got to score on offense. Is, you know? it, is it any different for you when, when D-Hop wasn't out there uh, this time around? Uh, not really, man. You know, I just – like I said, I didn't play that good for a couple of weeks or what it is this season. And um, I just told myself I'm going to play good. How do you do it? Yeah. I know if you had the answers, you'd be doing it. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean, there's got to be a plan, though, right? I mean, we had a chance, I would say. we had That was time we could, got a firm recovery. On those plays, when we made plays on the ball, we just had to execute and make the plays. It's there. We just have to actually make the play and actually get the ball. So that's what I would say. How much are you guys looking forward to being back on after a couple of back-to-back -back tough games? It's always good to play home. Uh, I say we got to get a first dub at home this year, I would say. So that really be the main goal. It'll be exciting to play back home again. You, you, yeah. Your head coach, we see him after these games, after these losses. He's, he's really wearing it, you can tell. Yeah. I mean, how much do you guys, you know, kind of empathize with that and just want to win not only for yourself but for your head coach? What's, like, what's your belief in your head coach right now? I mean, most definitely. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's great. It would be really great for everybody to get a dub and finally do this for a coach. I mean, really for everybody because after the loss, everybody feel down. I mean, the coach feel bad for us. We feel bad for ourselves. But we can't, we can't like, sit in that sad pity forever. We can't, like, feel sorry for ourselves thinking somebody's going to come save us. We have to make a move. We have to do something about it. So I would say we just have to get a dub for us and coach. Whether it's Brissett or May, I mean, you're going to have a really experienced guy or a rookie. I mean, it's two different worlds. We are. At quarterback this weekend. Mm. You're used to this by now. Yeah, I mean, same old thing. We got to prepare for two quarterbacks. I mean, but we just have to take advantage, I would say, every opportunity, whoever they put out there. I mean, we know both of the quarterbacks. We know what type of game they is, what type of quarterback they is. We just have to execute that. And I feel like this is a good chance at home to do that. How do you feel like you've kind of soaked in everything in the past week? Uh, pretty good. I mean, as far as like the playbook, it's pretty much the same. Uh, very similar. The language is pretty much the same. So uh, that really wasn't a problem. You get an opportunity to play it here at home in front of this tight for the first time. Are you excited to, to see that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, just a new place, a new fans. So I'm definitely excited for that. What is it about Denard's defense that now that you've seen more of it, you think it's a good fit for you? Uh, just the ability just to be smart and um, the different looks he gives, you know, the, the, def I mean, the offense. So for me as a linebacker, that's, that's always a good thing when the, uh, the offense don't know what's happening or what's coming. So uh, for me, just go around, have fun, be smart, uh, run fast, and hit hard. It's pretty, pretty much easy. What is it uh, with this, this Patriots offense uh, in terms of getting the run game going lately too that, that's a challenge? Uh, yeah, the, the one thing is that they stick to it. Uh, you know, they hang their hat on that. They're going to stick to it. Um, they're going to bank on you getting out of gap or uh, doing something you're not usually doing, and uh, they make you, you know, pay for it. So uh, I think we just go in there and do what we do, uh, play sound football, play together, and we'll be fine.